A French energy company has sent nuclear fuel to Japan for the first time since the disaster in Fukushima two years ago. Protesters fear the shipment signals Japanese utilities may restart some more reactors. A ship left port in Cherbourg, France, under tight security. It's carrying mixed oxide fuel, or MOX, a blend of plutonium and uranium. The French energy group Areva is delivering the shipment to Kansai Electric Power Company. The people who run Kansai Electric plan to use the fuel at their Takahama plant in central Japan. But the complex, like most nuclear facilities in the country, is currently offline. Dozens of activists from Greenpeace staged a protest on Monday before the ship left port. They say the fuel is extremely dangerous. Areva officials say the shipment will arrive in Japan in about two months. A cargo ship carrying nuclear fuel is on its way to Japan from France. It's the first such shipment since the 2011 accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And it's generating controversy, mostly because the outlook for the Japanese government's nuclear policy remains foggy. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. Ships leave port in Cherbourg, France, every day. But few of them set out under such tight surveillance. One vessel carrying nuclear fuel, known as MOX, left at midnight on Wednesday, headed for Japan. People gathered to protest the delivery. France is trying to force Japan to re-import some MOX in order to force the country to reopen uh, the, the nuclear plant that were shut down just after Fukushima. MOX mixes uranium with plutonium that has been extracted from spent nuclear fuel. Four power plants in Japan use MOX, but utilities in the country don't have the capacity to produce it. The first commercial plant to make the fuel is currently under construction and is expected to start operating in 2016. In the meantime, utilities have been shipping spent fuel abroad to foreign companies that can turn it into MOX. Among them is French energy firm Arriva. It has been waiting to send MOX fuel to Kansai Electric Power Company in central Japan. The shipment has been on hold since the 2011 accident in Fukushima. The facility that is supposed to use the fuel is currently offline, along with every nuclear plant in the country except one. Industry regulators are still deciding whether other facilities should be allowed to go back online. For decades, Japan has been trying to set up a complete nuclear fuel cycle, but it's still waiting for a breakthrough. A spokesperson for Kansai Electric says the utility hoped to delay the MOX delivery, but Arriva said it couldn't wait any longer. The recycled fuel is on its way back, even though the utility can't use it. On top of that, the Japanese government hasn't finalized its nuclear policy. Japan has been trying to reuse all of its nuclear fuel, but no one has thought beyond that point yet. I believe Japan needs to become able to operate a complete nuclear fuel cycle, but it will take a lot of effort to achieve this goal. Following the Fukushima accident, experts have been split on whether that goal is even attainable. The MOX shipment is expected to arrive in Japan in two months, but it's unclear when or even if it will be used to generate energy. Kaho Izumitani, NHK World, Tokyo. Workers in western Japan have been unloading containers carrying nuclear fuel. It's the first shipment to arrive in the country in more than two years since the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The fuel came from France and is bound for the Takahama power plant of the Sea of Japan coast. It's a mixture of reprocessed uranium and plutonium called MOX. The same type of fuel had powered four Japanese reactors, but those facilities were idled after the nuclear disaster.
The operator of the Takahama plant wants to use the fuel in one reactor. It's still offline, but officials say they'll seek permission to resume operations when new safety guidelines take effect next month. French President Francois Hollande has emphasized a partnership with Japan on a variety of issues ranging from anti-terrorism efforts to nuclear development. Hollande also referred to a consortium of Japanese and French companies that won a bid for a nuclear power plant project in Turkey. Hollande said France has the world's most trusted nuclear technology. He added he wants to join with Japan to promote safe nuclear development.